What is up guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily replace a cam cap on a Honda Civic D-Series engine. If you look up instructions on how to do this, chances are it's going to tell you to remove the valve train just to take this little plug out. That is completely unnecessary and I will show you exactly why. Tools needed are a 12 millimeter deep socket, a 10 millimeter socket if you decide to take off the valve cover, a six inch extension, quarter inch or three eighths, and a corresponding ratchet to the extension. You're also going to need a flathead screwdriver and an optional electric impact gun. Step one is to remove the valve cover. Not really needed, but it will help out in a later step if you end up breaking the cam cap. Step two is to remove the EGR valve if your model is equipped with it. This is a D17A2 engine, so it does indeed have one. You will need a 12 millimeter deep socket, a six inch extension, and a ratchet. First, unplug the EGR and cool it temp sensors. The temp sensor is right in front of the EGR on the thermostat housing. There are two nuts holding the EGR valve in place and a metal exhaust type gasket. Remove the two nuts. It is a little tight, so take your time and try not to drop the nuts or destroy the gasket. I do recommend replacing the gasket as well. Once you have the EGR out of the way, you'll be able to easily access the cam cap. Take your flathead screwdriver and gently pry the cam cap evenly around the surface until it pops out. There are four prongs on the cap. Make sure you do not break them off or you will have to remove the valve cover to retrieve the broken pieces. After you get the cap out, use some oil safe RTV and put a light amount on the new cam cap to help seal it. To reinstall the cap, make sure the two lines are horizontal and gently push the cap into place. Reinstall the EGR valve and remember to put the gasket back on. Plug it in and the job is nearly complete. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I do my best to respond to every comment. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time.